industry trainers are here and we're basically training each other. So it's like a train the trainer <laughs> and we are practicing what we're preaching. <laughs> There have been a lot of other things that have tried to work but haven't worked nearly as well as what TAT has um, and it's just it's a great resource it's just it's, it's something you've got to be, be, belong to it's just you have to belong to it. Wonderful look at that, oh, that, that and as soon as you short back Yeah. And a modern motor car is really an old motor car because what we're seeing on the road as a brand new car, the engineer forgot about five years ago. Um, they engineered it, they've put it together, they've tested it for the last five years and ask them what they did five years ago and they're going to look at you blank like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and they, can't, they don't know how to test it. So what we've got to do in the, in the aftermarket trade is we've got to work out what they did, work out how they did it and work out how we're going to fix it. And one person can't do that by themselves. You've got to do that as a collective. It's the only way it's going to work. With the TAT network, you you can um, you've got guys that have, have got um, experience in other fields that you don't have, and so you can uh, tap into that. The, the magazine that you get every two months that you get sent to you, that's really good. They're written by guys that are in the industry and they know what you're dealing with every day. So you can learn a lot from those stories and you can contribute as well if you want. We have to share uh, the little that we know amongst ourselves technicians. If we don't, I think A, we're guilty and secondly, <laughs> the industry can't survive the way it is. And if you've got a, a, a tricky uh, job, a tricky problem, you can actually go on the TAT website and check if you've got the same, they've got the same problem listed and you can just go and have a look on there and if it's an identical problem you can identify the problem and it, it uh, cuts a lot of time out of the job. We have to invent one. You've got to be involved in the network. You've got to be involved with other people. Um, and uh, share information and share brain power. And unless we take control uh, of information, knowledge and sharing, it's going to be very difficult to survive in the future. And TED is a very good vehicle to disseminate that information, bring people closer together. It's not what you know, it's what you do with what you know. And TAT is a wonderful vehicle to, to put the system in place. It has put the system in place in a way that we can make it happen. It's not the knowing part, it's what to do with the information. It's not what you know, it is what you do with what you know.